Hey friends, here I am with the physics platter. Today we are going to derive three equations of motion. So, we, as you know that there are three equations of motion uh, in the one dimensional motion or linear motion. And the equations are, first equation is V equals to U plus AT. Second equation is S equals to UT plus half AT square. Third equation, V square equals to u square plus 2as where v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity s is the displacement of the body in time t and a is the acceleration with which the body is moving all right so let's start let's first visualize the situation what's happening here let's say a body of mass m is moving initially with velocity u. We can consider a ball, for example, is rolling on the field along a straight line. All right, and we consider this position as a, which is also at the initial time. That means t equals to zero. At that initial time, a force acts on the body. For example, somebody kicks the body. Let's say. All right, and he kicks for a time t. That means at the end of the kick, when the kick finishes, or at the end of the time t, the body gets a velocity v, which I consider as a position b. That means if a to b, the force acts on the, on the body for time t, and the body moves. In this time from A to B a distance of S which is a displacement of the body all right and we consider that the body moved because there is a force of course there will be an acceleration and we consider that acceleration as A all right so this is the situation of the body all right now we will start off with the definition of the acceleration what is the definition of acceleration its acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. Alright, so acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. One more thing to, to note, notice here is that U, A, V and S and of course the force F. All are vectors, whereas t, the time, is a scalar quantity. All right. Okay. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Now, in this situation, what is the change of the velocity? The initially the body was having a velocity u, and then finally it got a velocity v at the end of the time t. That means change in velocity is v minus u, final velocity minus initial velocity. And while talking about rate, we must consider per time. That means rate of change of velocity. All right. A. Now, if we cross multiply this equation, that means if I bring t in the to the left hand side, then it becomes a t equals to v minus u. Now, if I bring the u to the left hand side, it becomes v equals to u plus a t and we have already got the first equation all right so the first equation we got from the definition of the acceleration let's move on to the second equation which is s equals to ut plus half a t square where s is the displacement now we know that for constant velocity uh, constant acceleration the Sorry, yeah, constant velocity. The displacement is defined as the simply the velocity into time. So in this case, if we find the average velocity somehow, then we can simply multiply that average velocity with time and we have already the value of s. So here we have two velocities. Initially, the body had a velocity u and finally it has v. That means if we want to calculate average velocity v av, that will be equals to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2. Alright. 
equals to let's put the value of v from equation 1 that means v equals to u plus a t so it becomes u plus u plus a t divided by 2 all right which gives u plus u equals to 2u plus a t divided by 2 i separate the two with two quantities all right here 2 2 cancel and that gives my average velocity equals to u plus a t divided by 2 all right so we have got the average velocity that means now we can calculate the displacement s as the average velocity into time which is u plus a t by 2 into t if i take the t inside the bracket it gives us u t plus half a t square which is already our second equation so we have got the second equation s equals to u t plus half a t square now the time is to prove the third equation which is v square equals to u square plus 2 a s to prove the, to derive the uh, third equation we will start off with our first one the first equation was what v equals to u plus a t all right so if i square both the sides of the equation it becomes v square equals to u plus a t whole square so in the right hand side i have got u plus a t whole square now i can apply a plus v whole square formula in the right hand side which gives us u square plus where a is the u and b is of course a t so a square means u square plus 2 a b means what 2 into a means u here into b means a t here plus b square which is a t means a square t square all right which gives us u square plus now we have to apply a small trick here and what's the trick here i take 2a out of these two as common of course from here if i take 2a out of the bracket we are left with u and t all right now in the second part what are we left with if we if i take 2a out all right there is a square i take one a out of the bracket that means i'm left with 1a and t square of course is there but see here if i take if i break the bracket and take the two inside then i've got a two extra here i will get a two extra here all right so i have to cancel this two so to cancel that two i divide this one by two now my equation is perfect if i multiply 2a into uh, 2a with a t square by 2 2 to cancel it becomes a square t square which is perfectly fine with my equation now here what we have got inside the bracket is u t plus half a t square which is my second equation which is my second equation s equals to u t plus half a t square means inside the bracket we have got s so we have got u square plus 2 a into this part is s so v square equals to u square plus 2 a s this is already our third equation all right so we have got all the three equations derived here and they are very easy simple method there are two more methods that by which we can prove we can derive these equations one is the uh, the another uh, of course this one is a numerical method which is taught in the lower school level and there is graphical method which is also taught in both lower and higher school level and there is a method uh, by using calculus we can also prove all these equations by using calculus which is taught in the higher school level all right in this video i have already done the lower school level uh, numerical method only in my next video i will try to put the uh, the graphical method all right uh, here i must mention one thing we have we had considered v u s and a all right all these vectors here we have considered a as the acceleration which means rate of change of velocity here the velocity is increasing but when the velocity decreases 
right when the velocity decreases it becomes a retardation or a negative acceleration all right in that case in that case for retardation or negative acceleration my equations become v equals to u instead of plus there will be a minus because a is negative in case of the retardation similarly s equals to ut minus half a t square and v square equals to ut uh, u square minus 2 a s so minus will be there for the retardation or negative acceleration all right friends that's all for today uh, if you like this video please comment share and like my video um, uh, if you have any questions suggestions or any kind of uh, any kind of queries please 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 comment in the uh, under the video and don't forget to hit the um, uh, bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos i'll try to put frequently the simple problems of physics and i'll try to put it as in as simple as possible all right okay so thank you take care bye bye